Hey everybody, it's Gothic Mayhem, and I'm doing something a little different today. I had to analyze a short story for my English class, um, and it's a short story written by Stephen King, so I thought it kind of fit in with our channel. So, uh, it's not like a normal video or a fun video. It's interesting though, but it's kind of short. So I hope you guys enjoy, and if this isn't your thing, then hopefully I'll post a new video soon. Let's talk about Stephen King. When people think of Stephen King, they usually think about It, The Dark Tower, or maybe even The Dead Zone. But what most people don't think about when they think of King is his short stories. Today I'm going to talk about and analyze the narrator of one of King's short stories called Strawberry Spring. Now if you haven't read Strawberry Spring, there will be a lot of spoilers in this video. If you don't care about that, keep watching. However, if you want to read the story, I've linked a version of it in the description below. Now that you've either read the story or just continued the video, let's get started. Strawberry Spring is a murder story that takes place in a fictional New England at New Sharon College in March of 1968. The story is told by a man who is remembering the events of eight years prior when he was going to New Sharon. The story is set at the end of winter where a seasonal change called the Strawberry Spring is setting in. Strawberry Spring is when there's a fake spring and then more snowfall shortly after it. During this time, a deep fog sets in and the entire atmosphere of the, cha of the college changes. The atmosphere changes even more when we find out that there has been a murder. During the duration of this story, four girls are murdered. They are, in order, Gail Kerman, Anne Bray, Adele Parkins, and Marcia Curran. Each girl is murdered in a unique way, and the narrator tells you a bit about each girl as he remembers them. Because of all the murders, they move spring break so that the students get out of school sooner. After that, the murders and the foggy nights stop. Our narrator graduates college, gets married, and has a kid. At the end of the story, the narrator talks about Strawberry Spring being back, and a girl was killed at New Sharon campus again. His wife thinks he was with another woman the night before, and she cries about it. However, our narrator seems to think almost the same thing. There the story leaves off for the reader to decide the fate of Spring Hill Jack. In Strawberry Spring, our main character happens to be the narrator of the story. There's a lot of different reasons as to why the narrator could be acting the way he is. The reasons I will be talking about in this video are childhood trauma, multiple personality disorder, and the use of substance. Now all of this said, that's implying that the narrator is Spring Hill Jack. On the flip side, there's a whole other argument that the narrator isn't the killer at all. If we believe that to be the truth, then we have another option to consider. Because King gives the reader the option to decide, we'll be touching on both ends of the scenario in this video. A lot of times people act out as adults due to the fact that they don't know any other way to deal with their emotions. This can be a really big problem for people with treated and especially untreated childhood trauma. The narrator could have had some traumatic experience on a night with fog, or even just with a female. This trauma could still be haunting him to this day. While not all people who are victims of childhood trauma become serial killers, people like John Wayne Gacy and Ed Gein had reports of child abuse in their past. According to the Mayo Clinic, post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, can cause a person to have flashbacks, heightened reactivity to stimuli, anxiety, hostility, guilt, and more. Some of these symptoms are easily recognizable when we look at the narrator. While telling this story, you can almost hear the anxiety and guilt in his sentences. And when he's walking through the fog, he describes just how overstimulating it is to him. If the narrator is Spring Hill Jack, there's a chance it's due to some past trauma. The medical definition of multiple personality disorder or dissociative identity disorder is, quote, a disorder characterized by the presence of two or more distinct personality states. In other words, it's when a person has the presence of two or more distinct personality identities each identity having its own name, history, and characteristics. In the case of Strawberry Spring, our narrator's alternate personality could very well be Spring Hill Jack. Every time someone is murdered on their campus during the duration of the story, and in the ending, the narrator can't seem to remember what he was doing at the time. He has small amounts of memories that lead him to believe that he is the killer as well. Towards the end of the story, the narrator states, And I've been thinking about the trunk of my car. Such an ugly word, trunk, and wondering why, in the world, I should be afraid to open it. 
This indicating that, while he may not know why, a part of him has a memory involving the trunk of his car. This may be his other personality telling him not to look there because spring Jack put something there that he doesn't want the narrator to find. There are tons of different substances that a person can take that make them black out. The narrator at the time of events was a college student after all, and college is where a lot of kids experiment with different substances. The narrator talks about being in the fog sometimes, as if he was experiencing something other than the way we normally see the world. At one point, the narrator describes being in the fog with other people, and it sounds very much like he's almost tripping. The narrator says, quote, I walked until nearly midnight until I was thoroughly mildewed, and I passed many shadows, heard many footfalls clicking dreamily off down the winding paths. Who is to say that one of those shadows was not the man or the thing that came to be known as Spring Hill Jack? Not I, for I passed many shadows, but in the fog I saw no faces. While the fog could have just been really thick that night, it almost sounds like the narrator is seeing through altered eyes. If he was under the influence, he very well might have blacked out and acted out because of it. Now, the narrator blacking out doesn't necessarily mean he killed those girls. There is, of course, a theory that our narrator isn't the murderer at all. Because King leaves the reader in charge of what they think happened, some people may think that the narrator isn't the killer. Our narrator went to the same college that these murders occurred, and he knew all the women previously. Being afraid of everyone around you possibly being a murderer could have given him some serious PTSD. This causing him to freak out at the end of the story when he reads about the murders happening again. As well as he could have just felt so much grief that his mind would rather think that he was the killer than constantly live not knowing who it was. Strawberry Springs never actually tells us if the narrator is the killer or not, so we can't just rule out that he isn't. Analyzing this character further was a real eye-opener. Just to see how vague our initial reaction to who a person is in a story was really mind-blowing. Before, I had just assumed that the narrator was a perfectly normal person who may or may not have been a serial killer, but now the character is more three-dimensional than that. From trauma to mental illness to substance abuse and even just grief, whatever was going on with the narrator was more than I may have thought. Thanks for watching guys. I know this was something a little bit different, um, but I actually really enjoyed making this video and hopefully I'll have some new content for you coming up pretty soon. Uh, in the meantime, feel free to like and favorite this video and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!